was there was the drive through this past Monday, and things things have blown up, Brian. They've just blown up since then. Big reaction, certainly. But I, I don't know what else you want me to say. You know, I get. Well, <laughs> no, let me say this. Let me start with this. It's not my fault. It's not my fault either. I was the one that was asked to change. You were, and 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 it's it's not been a lot of it has not been positive. It's the I don't people think it's on Twitter. At all. Um, a, a lot of people have 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 been knocking and say I should go back to old faithful rather than this new cheap slut is what everybody was talking about on on Twitter. Is that that's what you got out of it, wasn't it? Can, can I say a couple things here? Yes. First of all, for- and and here's another thing. <laughs> You motherfucker. <laughs> Here's another thing. <laughs> right now, I I cannot hear myself. I don't know whether I'm screaming because if I put this headset on and I'm not talking to anybody on Skype, I'm just listening to a, a YouTube video or whatever, I can hear myself breathing through this microphone. But with these goddamn heavy fucking cantankerous, it's like I'm wearing earmuffs. I can't hear myself when I'm speaking to you. You sound great. It's just, it's made the Skype tone when I ring you, it's even groovier and jazzier than ever. It sounds, except when I'm listening to myself, I sound like I'm in a fucking oil drum to me. Okay, I, I don't know where exactly to start. So let me start with this just for the record at the top of this. Jim, when we first spoke, the first time you used the new microphone, I didn't know you were going to be using it. I Skyped you and you were on it. And do you remember what the first thing I said to you was? You said, you- you sound bad. Yeah. I, I, think, I, th- I thought you meant like I was sick, like I had a cold or something. No, I meant like the microphone does not sound the way I want it to. So here, here's the issue. But no, no, no. You did. I know what you did because you demoralized me is what you then you were. Oh, I was like, on. oh, fuck. I did. I did went to all this trouble to get this thing and surprise you with it. You never like my surprises. You never put them over. I can never please you. I'd plugged it in and it said updating the gizmo and everything. And, 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 but so then I was saying, well, like, I'll just throw it away. I'll go back to old faithful. And you said, well, no, by the time that we finished talking about it for a little while, you said, maybe you sound better. And then you talk me back into it again, man, my, my psyche is so fucking fragile, Brian. I don't know what to, I don't know whether to wind my ass or scratch my watch. All right. Well, ho- before we get there, scratch your watch, by the way, uh, before we get there again, a few other notes, I take a lot of pride in my shows. And one of the things I take a lot of pride in is my shows sound better than everyone else's. I do a good job with the audio. I've spent a lot of time working on your shows where people probably don't realize it, taking out all of this and whatever, whatever else is going on with Old Faithful, who is a bitch. So people don't know that. So people are like, oh, the show sounds fine to me. No, you cannot call... You cannot call my longtime life companion a bitch now. That's just not right. Longtime life companion. I know how oh, long this podcast has been on the air. <laughs> I've never heard what you what you spoke of. Is it is this is this new ch- is the cheap slut here? Is is she doing it now? That same thing you're talking about? Well, again, here are the issues. No, she's not doing it. That was issues with that microphone, and age may have been a part of it. You know, were you just beating it up for four years or so? It may have worn it down, but also the microphone. Hey, 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 I never beat her. I was always gentle with, I'm gentle with my, my equipment of all kinds. As a matter of course, didn't I, yeah. didn't I just tell you that even though she had a few wrinkles and, well, some of the, the vinyl around the ear thing is torn there, and she's a little shaggy on top rag but so am i but all in all i've treated her with kindness and compassion no, i'll thank of course. not accuse me of being a headphone abuser you didn't you didn't beat old faithful it just fell down the stairs i got it i, I got how it worked she so, walked into a door when i was wearing i turned and walked into the door yeah, yeah, you right. know jim i received a lot of tweets and i know you were tagged on almost all of these so you saw the feedback and again it was overwhelming where people were like sorry brian i like the old <laughs> headset for the record I don't want Jim to have this headset either. I want Jim to have a better setup, which confines him to a space. Jim wants to be able to do calisthenics around his room while he's broadcasting. Well, now nobody's going to believe that. I don't well, do calisthenics true. under any circumstances, but you know what I'm saying. I do get all, all head up right. and move and, and gesticulate with regularity. You've seen me gesticulate several times. Uh, only on video. Well, so the the point is, we need help. Is what we need. We need help. 
Uh, we need somebody out there. Here's the thing. We need two things because this is – I'm wearing the, the new apparatus now. Uh, the cheap slut is on my head at this very moment. And Old Faithful is over here on the shelf in my office in a place, a safe place. And she's not going anywhere. And, and we want people to go ahead and, and now that you're hearing the experience, uh, we're going to give it one more chance of vote. And the, the hashtag is, is hashtag corny drive through. Just like if you want to ask a question to the drive through, hashtag corny drive through, right? Uh, well, for this, why don't we do hashtag corny Mike? Um, all right. We can do that, too, because we're just making this shit up as we go along. <laughs> it's to separate the questions from the uh, advice. Ah, okay. Well, then, in that case, <laughs> hashtag Corny Mike, M-I-C, right? Right. Corny Mike, M-I-C. And, and, because and, Corny M-I-K-E may be a completely different guy we don't know about. That, that could even be one of those telephone lines. <laughs> um, so, and, and just vote for Old Faithful versus the Cheap Slut. Well, also, and, in terms of recommendations, let, let, let's say this too, Jim. And, 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 well, and also, yes, we need some advice here on what uh, my parameters uh, to fulfill my needs. Well, let's discuss that because your needs are different than most people's needs. You don't want a microphone that isn't attached to the headphones. You're looking for a headphone microphone headset and hopefully one that doesn't sound like this, which is the, the, the whole telemarketer sound. Yeah, and I don't mind spending a little money. Because we we do we have a, a, an audience here. What between the experience and the drive through and the YouTube channel, corny YouTube, we have millions of listeners per month. So we got a, a couple bucks to spend. A few, a few. I'd say cap it out at twenty. No, no I'm kidding. Whatever. But <laughs> but let's go I'll, over the parameters again, though, Jim. You, I remember one thing. So let's have you say this on the air officially. Which side did you prefer the cord coming out of? Here's the thing. The way I'm sitting here now, or is sometimes standing, and where I got to plug my shit in is on the right-hand side of me. So when the cord is on the headphone uh, ear set that goes to my left ear, it crosses over in front of me, and then it fucks me up when I turn, right? So I like to have it on the right-hand side and the microphone on the left-hand side so that it doesn't do this when it's... And see, now you'll have to take all that out. It doesn't do this. I'm leaving it in. <laughs> when it's crossing over, you see what I'm saying? And again, my Old Faithful was a nice lightweight headset with a, 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 a actually a solid microphone stem that went around to the front of my, my mouth. And, uh, and I could hear not only the program in it, but also it didn't feel... Like I was wearing a goddamn crash helmet. It was lightweight, and I could still, my ears could breathe. I need some comfort here. I can't have my head fucking constricted. If it squeezes it much harder, shit will pop out. So just it's simple, simple, and just and and network television quality audio. That's all we want out of well, this thing. Yeah, exactly. And you know, you say old faithful. I think there's a better comparison to make uh, with uh, your old headset. Remember old Yeller? Hey, no. I think that's a little more appropriate. Not the barn. <laughs> not the not the barn, Dory. My brother Dory took that dog out beside behind the barn, and I never saw that dog again. That was an actual promo. Does that, everybody know. remembers that one, right? Well, no, For most people remember the jackass more than the dog. I mean, they had a lot of animals on that farm. A lot of, a lot of the, <laughs> that was the fucking pet cemetery. A lot of those... <laughs> Animals bought the farm if you were in, in the Funk family. Anyway, all right, so we've established that uh, we need some help. Uh, we're going we're gonna to vote which one to go back to next week, but we'd like to get some new apparatus to make you happy also and, and prevent you from tearing the hairs out of your head. Because yes. if, for heaven's sake, that, that, that you would not get a, an Emmy for for cleanest podcasting audio, <clears throat> when I first went up to fucking WWF, right, in 1993, and they've always been the best promotion in terms of television production, in terms of the professionalism of the production people is just across the board is usually very high, right? And we're in a pre-tape room because they would, that's when they did the superstars taping uh, once a month, right? And they do all the interviews and all the pre-tapes and four episodes worth of matches all in the same day. So you're there 12 fucking hours. 
and they would build a pre-tape room out of this soundproof sound baffling egg crate shit right in, in the backs of these arenas and they'd have three or four rooms set up side by side doing promos and all of them for various markets and things and I swear to God, after I finished first set of promos with, it was obviously it was probably Yokozuna and everything, they said, the audio guy said, okay, we have got the boom microphone. Hold now for 30 seconds of room audio. And everybody, and I, first time I'd been there, right? So I was, what are they doing? He said, shh. And we all stood there stock still for 30 seconds. Nobody moving, nobody speaking. And then he said, Claire, what the fuck did they just do? They actually recorded the noise, every different room. And if it's in the basement or up above ground or where the fucking other shit or whatever, every room has a specific sound and they would record the sound of that room. So if they needed to make any audio edits, they could cleanly insert. I, yeah. And that's, and, and actually I think it was fucking, it may have been, Owen, or it may have been Hennig or somebody started busting the guy's balls one day. He said, you're not going to use this shit. He said, you're just fucking Bill and Vince and you're going to fucking ball that fucking tape up and shove it up somebody's ass as soon as you walk out of here. <laughs> but they would do that. I think you're, you probably should have, you, you have achieved that status yes. at this point. No, I, like I said, I'm very proud of it. And I don't think people realize how much work went into editing some of those old faithful shows um, and I'm not going to do it. If you people vote to bring Old Faithful back, I will not be doing extensive editing. Um, <laughs> so now you, what, you're one of the fucking Republicans. You're like, now you're tying something to the other bill. All right. You're not getting a uh, clean bill on this one, Jimmy. <laughs> uh, well, hopefully we, we will within the hopefully the near future, we'll get this whole thing resolved. All yes. right. Anyway. Everybody will give us our suggestions. And where do the suggestions go? Straight up your ass? No, where? Hashtag straight up your ass. No, hashtag <laughs> corny Mike. That's right. That's right. There we go.